Uh, first of all, we want to know about your health. How are you doing now? What about your health? Are you following a treatment? How are your health? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm doing fairly well. Uh, since I've been back in Los Angeles, I've been to uh, see quite a few doctors, a uh, cardiologist, a uh, pulmonologist who deals with my lungs. Mm -hmm. We've been doing some tests. Everything seems fairly positive. I'm going to be doing a few more next week, as well as starting some physical therapy. But uh, all, uh, all, uh, all symbols or all signs point to everything being okay. Joe, did you hear in, uh, there in the States about the situation of the cop that was a sort of first responder when you were uh, stabbed and robbed? You mean as far as what's transpired in the last few days with Officer Chocobar and uh, the... Um, yes, I, I, I've become quite familiar with it, yes. So you know perfectly well that he is in serious problems, serious troubles nowadays with uh, justice. Because a judge believed that uh, Jorge used excessive force uh, when he sh shoot and killed the guy that attacked you. Yes, that's what I'm understanding, yes. So, what do you feel about it? Um, well, I, uh, as, I, as I've said, I mean, I feel he, what he did for me and, and his reasons for doing so were the utmost... Um, generosity and um you know in in with all good intentions as far as what actually transpired during the moments of uh, him shooting uh shooting the uh the offender i was not there i cannot determine exactly what happened um uh i just have to go by what he has told me and what i believe was in his heart and in his mind um and it seems like the people of argentina or buenos aires believe the same uh I know there are things that have to be done in various legal capacities, and I hope that after all has transpired, he will be clear. Okay, Joe, did you know that the judge uh, indeed indicted him for this? Yes, I, I know it's been officially charged, yes. Okay, what about, uh, uh, the, of, about the law in the States? Uh, something like that is conceivable. Um, I wouldn't say typical, but if similar things do happen on, on, on both, both sides, meaning there are times when police officers get charged for excessive use of force, and there are times when it probably uh, has transpired that there has been, you know, above and beyond the call of duty, so to speak, but they have not been charged. Um, so it can, go, it can go both ways, obviously, yes. and I'm sure it's the same down in Argentina. Jorge met the president, Macri, Mauricio Macri, president of Argentina, yesterday. He's collecting a lot of support. What do you feel? Um, I feel it was very great that, uh, that people are coming to his defense, both in the public, um, in just the general population, as well as people who are more involved in the government and the media. My only hope um, is that by more or less politicizing this event, it does not create further divisions. This is not about that. It is about a police officer doing what he thought was right and helping protect me and the people of Buenos Aires. It's not about uh, who was the current president, who was a former president, who's going to be a future president. Joe, do you want to use this space, this communication, in order to give uh, your support to Jorge for this situation? When you say hard, you mean Officer Chocobar? Yes? yes. After meeting him, after talking with him, and, and getting to know him, and feeling very, uh, very secure that everything he did was, you know, with, for concern for my well-being and 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 uh, and my and helping me. Um, so I have to give him my support. Um, he is, uh, a per, you know, he did, he did things that helped save my life. You know, if it was not for him and others there in La Boca that morning, I wouldn't be talking to you right now, um, and I would not have survived. Uh, so yes, he has, he has my support. I hope that things clarify through him. Okay, Joe, uh, did you have a phone call with him, or are you thinking about it? Uh, I have not had any direct phone contact with him since this has happened. I, um, I just had a meeting with him when I was still in Buenos Aires. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would, uh, 
I don't know what that would do, but I'd be happy to talk to him again. I'd like to talk to him and see how he's feeling. Joe, thank you, thank you very, very much indeed for your time. I hope uh, things rectify themselves in the best possible way for, for everybody concerned, and mostly that the people of Buenos Aires and Argentina come together over this and not create any more divisions. Um, it's a wonderful place, a wonderful country that uh, has uh, great opportunity and possibilities for even better things in the future.